Cura Internet. I think it's about time I got on with quoting the Rainbow Room quilt. step is of course to find something to use as a backing and as always I think I'll probably do a piece backing and use up some of the scraps I had left over from the front. I found this grey fabric which is left over from backing another quilt. I think there's just about enough. There's a few little scraps as well and I've got a few five inch squares that were left over that I didn't use on the front. I think if I combine all of those together, I should get something that's about big enough. Okay, I've got the quilt all basted, so let's get on with the fun stuff, the quilting. First thing I'm going to do is secure all the applique shapes and the big rainbow ring. shapes in the corners are small enough that they don't really need any extra quilting but this heart is pretty big so I'm just going to echo the heart shape a few times inside it just so that it's not such a huge unquilted area. The rainbow is of course the most important feature of the quilt so I want to do something really special in the quilting. First of all I'm just going to echo along the edges to make sure it really stands out and then I think I'm going to quilt two huge intertwining ferns. I'm going for a sort of laurel wreath effect.
inside of the circle to feel really comforting and protected. So I'm going to fill it with lots of big soft feathers. Not that I expect anyone's ever going to actually notice these subtleties I'm putting into the quilting, but I know they're there and it's really just for my own entertainment. so much space to fill on the outside of the circle that I know I'm going to get bored if I try and just stick to one thing. So I've decided to just totally improvise. When I get tired of one shape, I'll just move into doing something different. That's going to give the quilt loads of interesting textures. And I can maybe hide a few little Easter eggs amongst the quilting. I just finished a section of the quilt, turned it over, and I've sewn a flap of the backing under itself and quilted it on top of it. So I've now got to unpick all of that section there. the quilting done. I think that's looking pretty good. So now I just need to put some hanging loops on the back and then bind it. For the binding I'm thinking I'll use the rest of those jelly roll strips that I used for the center ring and make a scrappy rainbowy sort of binding just to give it another frame. I was in a hurry to get the quilt finished in time so I didn't film the rest of the process. But you know what making a binding looks like. But here's a few quick photos I took in the morning before I dropped it off to the university. Well, I think that turned out really well. I'm going to be taking it into the university today and hopefully get it hung up 
we've got someone from facilities management coming to install some hooks and get it hung in a reasonably secure way and then in theory I think tomorrow we're going to have some sort of small like presentation ceremony to officially hand it over. But I know also that it's possible to feel scared and bullied and terrified at work and that is a, a something as a union that we really want to work against in every possible way where we can and having a safe space is, is just magic and I hope it gets used and and it's just lovely to see it. But we're delighted to support this room because I think it's just, just being here is just nice. It's just makes, makes me as feel at home and I'm, it's not for me, but yeah, love it. Thank you. And thank you very much to Jennifer for the quilt, which um, I'm dying to see it. Right, well. Maybe Rob want to hang on to that string and hopefully if I've wrecked it properly it will just unroll beautifully. One, two, three. Oops. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You might be able to tell it's kind of loosely based on the Q Canterbury logo. Um, Dave and I met what, probably about January or something. Yeah. That's a long time ago. And showed me the, the logo and I really loved the idea of that kind of rainbow wrapping around the heart kind of thing. Um, so I didn't want to reproduce the logo because that would be boring. So this was kind of my interpretation of it. And the more I worked on it, the more I felt it really represented that whole way that rainbow communities kind of wrap around our most vulnerable members and look after them and care for them and give them that support and aroha. So um, the name I chose for the quilt is Chosen Family because that to me is what it represented and represents that kind of the way that Q Canterbury and the Union both are families for our members quite often. So, so the Rainbow Room now has a Chosen Family quilt. Thank you. Now you okay. <laughs> I'm quite proud of it. I think one of the better quilts I've ever made. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on the design journey. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Kaki internet. Bye.